the job of bureaucracy is basically twofold to give free and fair advice to elected representatives and to implement the programs within the framework of the constitution and laws there are also possible questions around the potential disagreements and clashes that may happen or erupt between uh, elected representatives and bureaucracy yeah yeah and uh, especially upsc aspirants need to be mindful of this and they need to be uh, considering this as they prepare to get into services so how do you handle those type of uh, uh, questions especially given that you were with the government mm. for 10 years and you have seen the system inside out um one line from bhagavad gita comes to my mind the short half a part of a shloka is yoga ha karma su kaushalam that yoga is skill in action so day to day running of administration also is like yoga it is skill in action so dealing with politicians in general or also elected representatives is also it is your personality skill how you speak how you greet them do you respect them as people's representatives on one side they deserve respect but respect doesn't mean you follow every order given by them you are not duty bound to follow an illegal or unconstitutional order but in order for you to understand in order for you not to follow unconstitutional or illegal order you need to understand what is unconstitutional or illegal and then have that personality skill of softly stating it you don't have to flare up every time you don't have to lose the balance of your mind finally and basically i would say if all of us understand that we are democracy and within that democracy our constitution has assigned roles to elected representatives and bureaucrats the role assigned to elected representatives is to represent and articulate people's wishes based on that form the policies and programs the job of bureaucracy is basically twofold to give free and fair advice to elected representatives and to implement the programs within the framework of the constitution and laws so as long as we remember that the possibility of clashes will be reduced but get ready for it that clashes are bound to happen there is no walk of life where there are no clashes it's only a question of what type of clashes we pick up so don't be overtly per perturbed in case you come across clashes in the interview situation stick to the constitution and laws and like i said basic human moralities and you will come out with flying colors it was an enriching experience i got to learn a lot of questions which may be asked in upsc interview i feel this mock interview was on the line of upsc interview which checked not only the depth of my understanding but also the variety of understanding the feedback was enriching and it helped me to brush on those areas on which i need to work a bit however the overall experience was very good uh, hi everyone my name is ronak agarwal and uh, i am an indian corporate law service officer so i am coming to the chanakya mandal to give my interview and my interview experience was very positive and it was awesome interview actually so the feedback given by the uh, interview members was very useful and they gave the minute they told me the minute details so where i was lacking in my personality and the questions were also from very diverse background so i think uh, they also created a positive vibe and gave me the confidence to face the new career so i would recommend everyone to come here uh, experience this interview all the best amazing panel members very pointed questions the direction of the interview was progressive and the feedback was very pointed uh, and constructive so i would advise all the candidates uh, to do take a mock here 
and uh, I'm sure that you'll be motivated uh, to appear with more vigor for the UPSC.